In the world of shrews, there is one genus that is practically a superhero amongst these animals. Meet Scutisaurus, the hero shrew. At a remarkably large size for one of these organisms, with a body length of between 12 to 15 centimeters, the hero shrews are known for their absolutely incredible feats of strength. An anecdotal report tells that an expedition to the home of these animals in the Congo area in the early 20th century was shown by a group of native people the true extent of the hero shrew's abilities. It's said that a fully grown man, probably weighing a little over 70 kilograms, stood on one of these animals and balanced himself on one foot for several minutes, after which time he got off and the shrew incredibly scurried away, completely unharmed, though probably a little confused. The reason the hero shrew was able to survive such a relatively immense weight put on top of its body is due to the fascinating anatomy of its backbone. The vertebrae in the lumbar region are truly unlike that seen in any other mammal. They're incredibly thick, cylindrical structures, and they interlock on the sides and underneath, in addition to having projections of bone that interlock and give the overall impression of a sort of mesh-like vertebral column. Furthermore, in most other species of mammal, including humans, there are only around five lumbar vertebrae, and they look nothing like a mesh, but in the hero shrew there can be as many as 11. So this brings us to the main subject of this video. In the spirit of Avengers Endgame releasing this week, let's look at the second, far more recently discovered species of hero shrew, Thor's hero shrew. The original species, Scutisaurus somarini, was first discovered in Uganda and described in 1910, but ever since the realisation was made that this species possessed a highly unique vertebral column, it's been a bit of a mystery as to how this evolutionary step occurred. One idea that had been proposed in the past was that the hero shrew was an example of punctuated equilibrium in action. This is the idea that organisms can evolve very slowly for periods of time, and then various changes occur that force them to diversify and branch off into new species very rapidly. Since no other shrew species were known to possess vertebral anatomy anything like that of Scutisaurus somarini, for many years it was thought that these changes must therefore have taken place in this lineage relatively very quickly. That's where Thor's hero shrew comes in. Only described in 2013, this second species, Scutisaurus thori, appears to be a kind of transitional form according to the scientists who named it. With a smaller skull and fewer lumbar vertebrae, 8 instead of 11, the vertebrae also don't have as many processes sticking off the sides, and the ribs have a different structure. The vertebrae do mesh and interlock together though, suggesting that this animal, like its sister species, was still a superhero amongst shrews. This slightly more intermediate anatomy therefore indicates that the evolution of these animals was not as sudden as previously considered and Thor's hero shrew could be thought of as a sort of missing link between the normie earth shrews and the Asgardian shrews. But this also raises the question of what these animals are actually doing that requires this sort of extreme anatomy. It can't just be being stood on by people. One current idea, suggested in the paper describing the newer species, is that they are able to use their backs to pry apart the bases of dead palm leaves from the trunks of trees, exposing insect larvae inside that they can then prey on. While this behaviour has not yet been observed, it could explain the strange adaptations hero shrews have, and the researchers are hoping to one day be able to see the animals actually doing this. I should also mention that there's a great episode of The Brain Scoop, in which one of the describers of Thor's hero shrew explains the significance of these creatures, so if you're interested you should definitely go and have a look at that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you would like to find out more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you would like to see more from us.